we have the return of my favourite ageing beetle. Well, actually, I say the return of this old beetle. The previous episode that I watched, the cartoon that featured this beetle, may have been released after this one. Either way, it's a recurring character and I really enjoy this character. Um, the Greener Yard was released in 1949, directed by Jack Hanna. And we have a brilliant voice cast, including Clarence Nash as Donald Duck, Florence Gill as the Hens, of course, she's always the Hens, and Dink Trout as the Boodle Beetle, who did appear in the cartoon Boodle Beetle, which now I'm thinking about it came after this one. And in this one, this beetle is telling his younger beetle, I get the impression that it's a grandson, but I'm not entirely sure what the relationship is. He is telling this young beetle that he probably should stay away from Donald Duck's garden. It may look like a paradise full of fruit and vegetables and glorious places to hide and sleep and whatever. But actually, if you try and go there, you will be in great danger. In this Boodle Beetle recounts times he spent in Donald's garden trying to eat the watermelon, encounters he ran into with the hens. And we get to obviously see the visuals of this as he's telling the story of all of the problems that happens in Donald Duck's garden. And needless to say, if Donald Duck sees a beetle eating his prized possessions, his vegetables, he's going to lose his mind. And Donald Duck gets very agitated and you really feel for this little beetle who just wants a snack. He's hungry and he just wants something to eat. And Donald Duck goes insane. I'm a big Donald Duck fan, so I love that element straight away. But I'm also a fan of the Bootle Beetle. I also just love saying Bootle Beetle. It's going to annoy me now whether or not this came before or after the Bootle Beetle cartoon. Uh, I will have to find that out. But either way, I like the fact that this character has appeared in several cartoons. I think he's got a lovely nature. The method of storytelling, the way they set it up and then go in to tell about past encounters with Donald, I think works really well. I love the narrative within a narrative structure. Very well animated. We have a lot of vibrant green grass colours and earthy tones that are really pleasing to look at. Very well animated, very well edited, really great narrative setup, really brilliant characters. While it's not my favourite Donald Duck cartoon of all time, it's definitely a strong contender. The Greener Yard is absolutely worth watching.